Jeff, as always, Madison is here, and uh, we're going to be making mozzarella sticks from scratch, as well as arancini. The link for the risotto that you're going to need cold is up in the chat somewhere. I posted the link yep. for the recipe. And you want to uh, make that, have it cold for at least an hour in your fridge, and then uh, you make arancini, which is rice balls. It's a Sicilian, it's a Sicilian style rice ball and uh, it's delicious. You can stuff it with some sort of a meat on the inside, any kind of cheese you want, and then you bread them and deep fry them. Come on, there we go. Let's do this thing. Let's do this. So first of all, here we have the risotto That's that a, is on the recipe. Was that about five cups? That we made about five cups, yeah. Cold. Four cups. And then over here we have, these are the little pieces of mozzarella that we cut up that we're going to be putting into the actual arancini ball, like in the actual ball we're going to be putting it. the inside before we burn it. And those are just for our matzo sticks. You just grab a brick of matzo and cut them accordingly. You can go bigger, you can go triangles, do whatever the hell you want. You can do whatever you please. You have some grated parm, some shredded parmesan. Over here we have five eggs with about two tablespoons of milk in it. Use however many you need. Might need more. Might need more, might need less. Just depends on how you feel and what you're doing. We have our breadcrumbs here, just our normal Italian style breadcrumbs. And we also have our panko breadcrumbs in here, which are amazing. It gives it a nice little extra bit of crunch to it. And over here we just have our yeah. marinara sauce going. To dip everything in. To dip everything in. And we have our deep fryer going. Yeah, you want the deep fryer on. And yeah, that's Both. it. That's all you need. 350, 360 Fahrenheit. Now, when you're making arancini, uh, this is with anything with pretty well with cookie, cooking, cookie. pardon me, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Get right in there, do get, it. Just get like the, the flour? Oh my gosh, that's the one thing, the flour. Hey everybody, how you doing? Today. Welcome. Where would you like me to put the flour? On a plate. Just on a plate? Alright. TGIF, everybody. Put it on this. TGIF! Damien, how you doing? How you, how's it going, man? What's up, what's up? How's this? Sure, sure. I don't care. Bada boom. There's power. Tito in the house. Smash that thumbs up button. Share this out, guys. I just have to close that because knowing my cat, she's probably going to walk by and try to knock it over. Oh, well, here's the eggs. Eggs. And always remember, people, February, F-E-B, flour, eggs, breadcrumbs. For every time, any kind of breading station. The matzo sticks, unfortunately, have to be double breaded. You bread them once, freeze them for 20 minutes at least 20 minutes it might not be long enough and if they explode on my deep fryer then we'll know it wasn't long enough exactly and we'll put them back in and you get the idea right so flour eggs breadcrumbs and, and, and then and then they get frozen for 20 minutes then you take them back out and you put them back in the egg and breadcrumbs you skip the flour for the second breading okay yeah but for for arancini the the risotto you go to flour Eggs, breadcrumbs, and we're Damien A W N and Arch by Cat Free. What is going on? Welcome. We're using um, a mix of panko. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be using lots. Let's face it. <laughs> You're just like ah, screw it. We'll just pour the rest in. Oh, I think. And uh, Italian breadcrumbs. We're gonna go half and half. Half Italian breadcrumbs, half panko. Why panko? Cause look. They got special, they're Japanese style, and they got special sharp ridges on them. They got a special sharp ridge on them, and it makes them extra crunchy and yummy. Oh, yes. And the it's Italian, there. just because it's going to give it extra flavor and seasoning, Italian. So half and half for breading. Since I'm double breading, I'm probably going to use a lot. I might even need more, and then you're going to have to grab more panko somewhere. Oh, know. yeah, there's one open that's over there. Mix it up. So flour. Eggs. 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 Eggs.
eggs, breadcrumbs. Always season your flour, pepper, salt. Put the salt in your hands. You can see it because the flour is white, right? Exactly. That makes sense. Salt. And I use both kinds of pepper every time I cook here. How's everyone doing today? What is everyone eating today? Thank you so much, AWN, for liking and sharing. Appreciate that. So, um, let's get to it. Breadsticks first. Breadsticks? You mean matzo sticks? Oh, matzo sticks. Because <laughs> <laughs> you thought of breadcrumbs. Yeah, I did. So you take your, your cut matzo from your brick, coat them in the flour. It's going to create like a glue. Then you're gonna go in here. I guess it's not, see? You can make sure it's covered. Or they're gonna be blowing up on me. They might anyway, because like I said, we're not, we don't have time to really um, put them in lo long enough. We're, I'm gonna squeeze it on it. I'm gonna squeeze it on. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. Squeeze the hell out of it. It's not gonna fool around with these. On the ends. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. And they definitely have to be double double breaded. Like I said, they might actually blow up in my deep fryer and I'll show you what not to do. Right? That's why cooking live, anything can happen and I adjust accordingly. And it's going to be what it's going to be, right? Exactly. We don't have time to hang around when we're live for it to do totally properly. Hopefully, it'll be frozen enough that it's going to work. Because he's doing that, I'm doing the <laughs> doing the flour so it goes by a bit quicker here. Everything has to be, and the risotto balls have to be frozen for at least 15 minutes. So she's going to entertain you. Cocktail hour, talk. Put whatever the hell you guys want to in the chat while we wait for everything to freeze. After that, that's enough. After all this? Yeah. No, no, after what you're doing. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then let's do the rest after. Shit. Stuff all over. See, if you don't properly get it all in the, get the flour covered, it doesn't bread properly. There's one restaurant I used to work at that uh, used to make them like this all the time. I don't know why that isn't working, so I'm going to go back in the flour. Well, it's not working, just keep going. That one wasn't, co way. wasn't covering. We're definitely gonna need more bread crumbs because you have already. Oh yeah, that's all right. Hey Blaze, what's going on Blaze? Um, Art saying, Art by Cat Free saying, I'm officially volunteering to be- Catherine. A guest taste tester, LOL, anytime. <laughs> Catherine. Oh, hi Catherine. Hi Catherine. Catherine always. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'll be a volunteer taste tester. Done. I'm pushing as much as I can in. Now, but like I said, I'm not going to be able to freeze them long enough because we're live. For any so, so they're probably going to blow up in my deep fryer. I'm calling it now. So uh, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. Doing my best here with a live situation. <laughs> right? Mm hmm. So and you can put those in first. And, and, and the worst case scenario afterwards. is if they blow up in my deep fryer, I'll be obviously you got, you got to. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, put them in the freezer longer, right? Exactly. So that's that. Okay, so why, like, what is the reason behind that you have to put it in the freezer? Just mostly because of the exploding, exploding that's of like it. That's wet. Oh. So I guess when it's, like, frozen, then it's not... There's less chances of the middle. Oh, Okay. Just gonna take those, put them on the baking sheet, and then just pop them into the freezer. That one didn't bread worth crops. I'm not even close to happy with that. <laughs> the hell? 
Work with me, mozzarella stick. Work with me. Oh, thank you, Catherine, for the happy belated birthday. Thank you. Uh -huh. Damien's saying, I'll be the judge, too. Look, what the hell? Damien's saying, so, Maddie, how was the clums? <laughs> I went to Boston Pizza, had a fish bowl. It was really good. I don't, you got to explain to them what a fish bowl oh, is. Oh, yeah, that's true, because Boston Pizza's Canadian. Um, it's they, basically, they, they, they take have, a fish bowl, and they, have, they put alcohol in it. They have them in America. Oh, they basically Boston. take a fish bowl, and they put a bunch of, like, different alcohol mixed drinks in it. I had this, like, uh, margarita one with the Corona, and it was really good. My, 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 my Corona. Mm. After five, Corona. <laughs> corona is great. <laughs> so, I had, like, Corona with lime for my first time, like, not that long ago, and see, I was like, this is That's amazing. not happening. So, let's fix it. Let's fix it. And that's the process of cooking, folks. With baking, it has to be specific, but with cooking, we're just going back and forth doing what and we need to do. And it's going to go in the do. freezer. I'll be right back. She'll Put keep, it into the freezer. Now, these little bricks are the little things that we're going to be putting in. You can make them a little bit bigger if you're going to make your arancini larger. Or you can make them a little bit smaller if you're going to go for more bite-sized arancini. But we just chose this size. That's a good little oh, size that we're going to be pushing into the middle of the ball. Arancini means little orange. The translation is Sic oh. Sicilian. So you want it to be the size of a little orange. Orange. Oh. Although, some places in Italy do different... Uh, Different, um, different um, shapes and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, that has oil on the bottom of it. I'm purchasing this right now. Going more egg. Chipper's going nuts. <laughs> I forgot to lock her up. I'm just going to stir our marinara sauce that we have going. Make sure it doesn't burn on the bottom. Did you get a slotted spoon? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, sorry. So while that's uh, well, that's freezing. She's gonna entertain you for a sec. My 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 Sharona. Most of the video is gonna be a bunch of waiting. Yes. <laughs> Here we're gonna go. We'll go sit by the window, guys. You guys are are on the most expect. No, that looks. There's too much light behind me. Hello. You got games on your phone? You guys are currently on like the most expensive little like stand that I use. And, and, and if you don't double bread, right, well, your, your mozza sticks, you got no chance in hell of it not excluding. The minimal time I'm putting it in, I think I got about a 50% chance mm -hmm. of pushing it. They're probably gonna explode because they're not frozen long enough, but I'm going to try. Yeah. I'm going to try. Just so you get the point. So for the mozzarella, how yeah. long would you put it in the freezer? And for the arancini, how long would you put it in? An hour and 15 minutes for the arancini. In the freezer? On a typical day on when they're typical. not rushing on, on a live. Yeah. I would, bread, I would bread the mozzarella sticks once, put it in for an hour, take them out, uh, bread them, oh. bread them <laughs> and then... Deep them. Oh, not okay. Not 15 minutes. So, hey, so, so pretty much do as I say, don't do as I do in this case. Yeah. <laughs> We're just doing it this way because it's. We're live. We're live. So. Kind of got to do what we need to. Meow. Yeah, she's like right. <laughs> she was like right behind me. I was like, hi. <laughs> She's going nuts because she smells the cheese. She smells the cheese and we know that we're making something, which means that she knows that she's gonna be getting something. I'm doing as you do, you can't stop me, <laughs> says Blaze. Sucks to be you, <laughs> buckle up buttercup. Wally, Wally, Wally. What's going on Wally, how you doing? Buckle up buttercup. 
gonna get rocky then. Oh yeah, guys, as we're waiting for the matzo sticks, I'm gonna show you guys um, this thing that I got. Hold up, hold up, you guys have to see this, hold up. Guys, look, my shoes have flamingos on them. <laughs> oh yeah, you haven't seen these. And I have a sweater that matches them exactly. And it's and shorts, and it's honestly perfect. Anyways, those are my. I also have just a pair of plain black ones. Oh! Okay. <laughs> you need to calm down. You take the cold, um, what do you call it? Uh, risotto. risotto. <laughs> Make a little patty, even as you can. Gonna take a piece of this and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully wrap it up in it. It might not be exactly a circle, it might be more of an oval, but it doesn't matter. It's not a circle? Oh yeah, no it is. <laughs> and it's not because the cheese isn't really a square, so. It's hip to be square. <laughs> and there's sausage in it, so it might come apart a bit, and that's life. It's probably best to do it with, uh, without meat in the risotto, but we're not wasting. So, uh, that's a risotto ball. Boom. Lots in the middle. Lots in the middle. There it is. So repeat. Repeat that process. I used to make these at the fancy Italian restaurant all the time. I did my apprenticeship. These, that, these, these are bigger, a little bit bigger than what you would normal see, normally see in a restaurant. So these are big oranges. These aren't little oranges. <laughs> but I kind of want the cheese to try, try to stay in it. <laughs> also, Dad was also telling me, guys, that during his, I think he said it was during your apprenticeship, or it was afterwards, you had to crack so many eggs, they were like, multi-gallon buckets of eggs that you needed to crack. Oh, Catherine knows all about that at the ho at the hotel. That that was at, at the uh, Vic. Oh. But it was smart. You cracked it into like a sieve and the sieve took took out the eggshells automatically. Oh. And it dripped down and like broke the eggs. Oh. Like a china cap. Yeah. I got the biggest balls of them all. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you know what it reminded me of? Of a song? No. Because <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> of a song? Wow. So, like, you got your sweaty balls? Oh, sweaty balls. <laughs> wow. They're so moist. They're so moist. <laughs> I was like, I remember the very first time I seen that, I was like, oh. Sweaty balls. My gosh. Sweaty balls. These have to freeze, oh, probably 15 minutes. But an hour in actuality, but just no, for no, the no. video. An hour in actuality for the matzo sticks. Oh, I thought you were saying an hour for the arancini. No, matzo oh. sticks an hour. You take them out, you bread them, then you deep fry them. Like, like after you second bread them. Yeah. But they got to be in in a good normal world, not live. Yeah. I would put them in an hour. not. Oh, 50. okay. That's why I'm, I'm guessing they're probably going to blow up. <laughs> Tripper. So these aren't a uh, little Arancini. They're big. Here, wait. <laughs> hey, Tripper. Honey. <laughs> She's nuts. Okie dokie. And uh, give me a, a small plate. A small Oh. Oh! We don't have a small plate. Put it into something. Okay. You can eat that later. Okay. Sounds good. That's more than enough. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. We made six big old arancini balls. February. Flour. Flour. Egg. 
breadcrumbs. Like a surgeon. <laughs> Cutting for the very first time. Like a surgeon. <laughs> You basically learned breading 101 today. <laughs> you want to break it down. Break it down! See, because uh, Aaron Cheney's really soft. Whoa. Did 3D? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aaron Cheney's really soft. So, you need it to harden just a little bit. So, he's just going to make sure it's all covered. These are pretty big. So if you're doing appetizers, one per person, that size would be more than enough. Oh, yum. So there's three breaded right there. Catherine, speak for yourself. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I know. In my house, it'd be two. <laughs> I hear you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Just like, yeah, like about one per person should be good. And then me and you were looking at each other like, Ooh, we know right. it's going to be. <laughs> These will all be gone. <laughs> well, two will. It's like when um, you see those cooking shows and people are like, yeah, so this is a good enough meal to feed about three people. And I'm looking, I'm like, that's enough to feed me. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Ray, who you kidding? <laughs> it's like on a craft dinner box. It's like three people. I'm like, three people? You mean, like, I guess I'm three people then because I'm eating that whole thing. Craft is nothing but lies. I'm like, y'all are lying. So, so much for the little orange. We got huge oranges. <laughs> Yeah, big old oranges. Big boys. The drier the outside, the better. It's like me. Look at those. Look at them. Hi, Cassandra. How you doing? Italian cooking, nice, Sean. Wash hands after, says Wally. Oh, yeah. You know it. I have to do it. About, I've washed, already washed my hands like five times. <laughs> and I will say, guys, like my father's like the cleanest man. Like, <laughs> you have no idea. Like the amount of times he washes his hands throughout a day, I'm surprised he still has like skin on his hands. <laughs> like not like OCD or anything. Just like you're just a clean person. Just clean. You're just a very just clean, clean person. Ooh, look at those babies. Woo! Nice. So now we're going to do a whole bunch of waiting and she's going to entertain the troop. I'm going to get those in the freezer magically somehow. I don't know if they, where they're going to fit. They should fit with the matzah. Well, we're going to find out. Uh, maybe. And then you also have these ones too. Well, and then the I'm not worried ones. about those right now. If we even get to them. <laughs> My birthday was Cassandra. Well, those are big old balls. It was very good. Those are big old balls. And we're going to have to sweep the floor again. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect. They look very good, and now they're going to be going into the freezer. Not sponsored by Dr. Pepper, but... Y'all wanted to sponsor me, like I'm I will I will drink two liters on camera. Yeah, we're gonna have to sweep the frickin' floor. They That's say the bad part about breading, it, it is messy as hell. Facts, it is. Please tell me I don't squ oh I'm squishing you. There it is. No, <laughs> please don't tell me to squish and I squish them. <laughs> How was the wigs on your birthday? I had boneless wigs and they were very good. Gotta love live. Mm. If you need them, put them on a plate and then there's room in the small freezer. On the bottom right. If you need to. 
I'm all been squished them again. <laughs> Live cooking. Um, you know what? If Dr. Pepper wants to sponsor me, they won't because we don't get enough views. But like, never did on here. You know, the wonderful taste and the feeling that you get when you drink a Dr. Pepper may be temporary and diabetes is forever, but I mean, it's worth it. <laughs> we'll say. Oh my God. Pardon me. How about drinking two kegs of Dr. Pepper? See, I might die then. <laughs> Molly got a nose ring. I just put this nose ring in. Yeah, I, usually you just have the stud in. I always have a stud. I always put this one in because I just wanted to see what it was like, but it still tickles the inside of my nose a lot and makes me sneeze. So, and the one that I got online was too big for my nose. So now it's just like a regular hoop that I'd use for like my ear. But I can't wear hoops at work. So I have to keep my stud in. Well, then first semester, I can wear hoops and stuff. But then second semester, starting January, I can't because I'm going to have clinical. And with clinicals, they have very strict rules. Explain them. Uh, some of the rules are like you no, can't... what do you mean by clinical? Oh, clinical placement, which is basically just like my in-person hospital. hospital setting placement. No, it's real. Walter. No, it's real. I have uh, my helix pierced. I have my two earlobes pierced. I just don't have anything in it. And my nose pierced and my belly button pierced. Although I want to get more piercings, but rather than getting more piercings, I would rather get more tattoos. So I'd rather like, instead of spending my money on piercings, would rather save it to spend money on like a tattoo. Which probably won't be until 2022 because they're so backlogged with everything. Hey Zachary, what's going on Zachary Weiss? What's up? To the yeah, it's real. I found my this piercing since I was like 13 or 14. And my nose piercing since I was 17. I got it done. And my belly button since I was 16 hey, and my ears pierced? since I was like 3. What does Wally have pierced? Wally, what do you have pierced? <laughs> Imagine Wally drops oh a Prince Wally. Albert. It's like, whoa, Wally. <laughs> Wally. Wally just has like the most hardcore one. Hey, Drew, what's going on, Drew? I love how talky your cat is. Hey, Tripper. Say hi to Catherine. Say hi. Likes to talk. Look at her little nose. Guys, you guys can see her nose twitching because she's smelling the. Hey, Tripper. Oh, she's going now. <laughs> her little nose wiggles because whatever she sniffs. So cute. I know. She's so precious. Wally doesn't have any piercings. Yeah, sure, Wally. Cassandra, oh, he tripper. She's precious. Sure, you Wally. Sure, Wally. Where's the paper towel? Top of the fridge. Now it's the weeding game. Congratulations, everybody. Welcome to the monster weeding game. Welcome to the waiting game. Where we wait. That's it. That's all that it is. <laughs> Guys off. Sorry. Sorry about that one. NFL preseason starts. Yes, it's going to be starting soon. They just had the Hall of Fame game last night, and the Steelers blew Cowboys away. But like Blaze said, Blaze, and but Blaze, if Blaze says it doesn't matter, they're just running reps and stuff. It doesn't count. Yeah, but no, none of it counts. No, but that's what he was saying until, until Pittsburgh went ahead. And then he was cheering, yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh. He, he clowned himself on his own. 
they're saying that Dak Prescott, because they were talking about him, and he came on and he was talking, and he's like, yeah, like, my ankle is better, but now I, but then he has started having a shoulder problem. Good. So they're trying to figure out the shoulder problem, but hopefully he's going to be back for the regular season games, is what he was saying. He needs to figure out how not to be a cowboy problem. That's true. That's just what it gets for being a cowgirl, you know? It's just, it's just karma, you know? Walter saying Blaze is going to AEW in Pittsburgh. Frickin' right. Yeah, they needed a janitor. <laughs> Jeez. That'd be so cool to go to, like, one of those. To be a janitor? Oh. No, not... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. I mean, with my job, sometimes I feel like a janitor with some of the things we need to get. Everybody, it's Friday night. It's cocktail hour. Everybody get a drink. Friday night cocktail hour. Everybody get a drink. I am drinking a Dr. Jesus. <laughs> Dr. Jesus. <laughs> 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 no, that was hilarious. A Dr. Jesus. A Dr. Jesus. <laughs> a Dr. Jesus is what I'm now. <laughs> hey. Hey-oh, Dr. Jesus. <laughs> Everybody, a Dr. Jesus. I'm like, a Dr. Jesus. <laughs> Everything's just fly, flying everywhere. Dr. Jesus. Dr. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's a dirty job, but someone gotta do it, says Blaze. Oh, God. Can you go lock up your cat? Tripper! Let's go lock her up. Come here! We love her, but she's gonna get hurt. Honey, you're gonna die. There's a deep fryer. There's a deep fryer. Deep fryers and cats, this is not Deep fryers ideal. plus you, who is like hella small, is not gonna go yeah. well. Deep fryers and cats, bad. Bad. Uh, we're gonna go another 10 minutes. I don't feel good about that. <laughs> I don't feel good about that little beeper. Grab a drink, people. We're here for a while. Grab a drink. We're here for a while. Also, I just want to tell you... Um... Uh, in the bathroom, I was like, oh my gosh, the fan's so dirty. And then I actually pulled it down, and I was like, oh, I'm like, oh my gosh, it didn't want me to do that. And then I looked, and I was like, oh, it, you just pop it right back in. And I was like, oh, it's literally just clipped in at the top. So I took it off, and I cleaned it. It was absolutely horrendous. The inside motor was just full of dust. And I was like, that's not good. That's fire, so. I took the canned air, and I sprayed it all off. Clean it all up. We're playing the waiting game, by the way, if anyone's new here, for the Arancini and the... <laughs> and I made the Arancini about 25% bigger than I should have, but... I didn't, want, right. I didn't want to bread more. <laughs> <laughs> I got lazy, I didn't want to bread more, so I just made them bigger. You're like, you know what, this works. But if, also if I didn't do that, we wouldn't be able to fit as much cheese as I did. So, we sacrificed making the Arancini bigger to fit more cheese. Yes. So... Otherwise, the cheese would have never fit. Mozzarella in the middle. You can put any kind of cheese you want. You can put meat in it. Whatever you want. Oh, yeah. That's our supper. Mozzarella sticks and arancini. That's supper. Oh, it's going to be so good. Today for lunch, we had um, cheesy garlic bread. Ooh. Like, like homemade. Like homemade with like a fresh bakery loaf. Wonderful. Beautiful. We're just going all out Italian today. I mean, we usually eat Italian. Italian's like the best. Facts. I mean, we both are like Italian. You're more Italian than me. Yeah. Your freaking great grandfather was like right off the freaking boat or whatever. Yep. Right from Italy. Yep. Amadeo. 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 That's so Italian. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So freaking, that's like one of the most Italian things. It's, like, it's as good as being a soprano. Yeah, freaking right. How do I do? A-O-A. Dad was always like, hmm, I always resonated with Tony Soprano. And then your sister was like, yeah, so like, I don't know if you knew this, but you're like, makes sense. Makes total sense now. Technically, if you didn't want, want the mozzarella sticks first either, 
you can also, once you bread them a second time, you could freeze them for like another half hour. But we're not doing that. Yeah, no. In, 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 a, in a good world, that's what you'd want to do. Wally, we're not going to be getting the 2K22 for the PS4 since we now have the PS5. We're just going to get, if we're going to get any new games, it's going to be for the PS5. I'm looking forward to the PS4 live streams and sports. I cannot wait until we get the PlayStation 5 up. Because I realized, because I thought to myself, okay, so if I get rid of the DVD player that is down below that we don't need, and I move one of the shelves out of the way, and I just keep the cable box on the very top shelf, maybe I can fit the PlayStation in that little compartment. Then I realize the PlayStation is too big to even fit in that compartment if there's more than just a PlayStation in there. So I'm going to have to figure out where to put it. <laughs> it's Chinese. Nice. Who's having Chinese food? Well, we Chinese. Ooh. Nice. Uh, uh, Paddock, tots. tater tots, and salad. Dude, tell, tell Catherine what we're obsessed so with. so good, Catherine. Catherine, we are obsessed with, um, yeah, Catherine knows taco time. At taco time, they have this, oh, these deluxe Mexi fries. taco time in Canada. Oh, yeah. The deluxe Mexi fries. That's like the tater tots with the melted cheese. The taco meat, pico de gallo, sour cream, sour cream and cheese. it's freaking, yeah, the cheese, cheese is sauce. Oh. freaking incredible. So we've made it homemade and we're like obsessed. The, ho the homemade, bit, yeah. It's so good. Those are trouble. <laughs> this is cat, yeah. Because the, homemade, ver the homemade version's triple the size that it legally should be. <laughs> yeah, the homemade version is like huge. Triple the size. Um, what kind of salad are you having? What kind of salad are you having? Because I really like, I like Caesar salads, and I also like balsamic vinaigrette is also my favorite. I love balsamic vinaigrettes. So good. At the, um, at the hospital now, it's awesome because they have this vending machine that's basically like a burrito bowl vending machine that you go up really? to. And you just click whatever you want, and then it dispenses it. At the hospital? At the hospital. And then it dispenses it, and then you just pay how, like, it's like eight bucks. You get this big bowl of, like, rice if you want to, like, whatever's in there you can have type thing. No way. Pretty cool, yeah. We gotta get one for our home. Yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta get one for the apartment. Definitely need to have that. I need a bur burrito bowl dispenser. It just keeps it all cold, and then it just, like, spits out whatever you need. Do you guys have Taco Bell uh, get nacho fries? We don't have Taco Bell in our city, but it is in Canada. But we don't have it in our Taco, city anymore. Taco Time is better than me. Taco Time is absolutely incredible. Very good. Better to me. But I wish that we did have a Taco Bell. At least one of them. Because I love their Crunchwrap Supremes. Even though Taco Time has their version of it, it's not the same as the Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme. I'm going to tell you that right now. It is not the same. And you know, like, after you eat Taco Bell, you have that feeling where you're just like, I should not have ate that because I feel really sick now. But at the same time, you're like, no regrets at all because it was great. But we have, uh... Because we have, like... The only fries that they have are the Mexi fries at I'm Taco Bell, which is just tater tots. My favorite fries on earth are waffle fries and hardly any place in town does waffle fries. I have never seen them in town. Waffle fries are, I would have those as, as like the tater tots on, on the, you know the mandolin we have? Mm -hmm. right, the mandolin, I got Yeah, a, we can, we have a I setting board, really we can make it. mandolin, a really fancy one, expensive one. Yeah. And it can make waffle fries, so I'm gonna have to make those. Oh yeah. Definitely. But it's weird, you can't really get them in town. No, you can't. It is really weird. Everywhere, because there's some fast food places where you can, but those are all in the States. They're not, they're not here. But we are getting a Popeyes here, which I'm going to be going nuts over, and we most likely won't be able to get it for, like, over a month once they open, because it's going to be nuts. Because every single person that I've talked to about it has been, like, really hyped and excited they're for gonna it. They're going to have to open more than one location. They're going to have to. They're going to be freaking packed over there. I drove by it yesterday, and just in my head, I was just dreaming of Popeyes. To torture your I've never, yeah. 
I've never had Popeyes before, but like I, I just dream about it still. I'm still like, this is gonna be amazing. I also just think of little Nikki too. Little At little least Nikki. they're good. And he pushes it over and then just like chicken. Popeyes. <laughs> oh God, is that Love Island? I cannot, I do not like Love Island. I will tell y'all that. I don't want to see two strangers making out for a TV show. I'm good. And it's just not interesting to me. So it's soft core porn, basically. That's basically what it is. Soft corn porn, Love Island. Love Island, I think, originated in Australia. Well, that explains a lot. And then came over to like America because it was really popular. Oh no, there's Rex in the chat. I smashed my thumb and now it hurts. I'm a you guys sending you the hospital bill. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, you smash the thumbs up, but you accidentally smash your own thumb. Corn porn. Oh, it's always corn porn around here. We, we got corn in the cob. We have corn in the cob, just slowly undresses the husk off the corn of the cob. Slathers it with butter. Slathers it with butter. Do what people love doing. Okay. Corn? I mean... <laughs> There's some people out there who would. <laughs> but where they do like the street corn, where they take the corn and after it's like cooked, they like do like the grilling on it and they just slather it in butter and just put like chili pepper on it or whatever. They just put like a bunch of things. Ta what's it called? Tyan? Tyajan? Tyan? Like something? I don't know. Tyajan? I don't know. It sounds so weird. <laughs> like whatever it is, they like put on the outside of it and apparently it's like really, really good. I put Frank's Red Hot Sauce on my corn recently. Mexican street corn. It's been corn. pretty good. Mexican street corn would probably be freaking so good. Five more minutes. We'll try not to blow up the monster sticks. Five more minutes. <laughs> we'll try not to. We'll try not to blow up the monster sticks. Or the rice balls. Attempt not to. What? What's gonna happen is gonna happen. It's live. Whoa, 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 wait. We talking about corn? WTF. I thought this was YouTube, not OF. <laughs> <laughs> I have to use code words because YouTube doesn't like things, so. WTF, sir? No. Oh. Damien just put WTF in the chat. Oh. Like, what the F? I liked cooked corn. Me too, Wally. <laughs> I also do. Popcorn is freaking amazing. Kettle corn? Don't even get me started on kettle corn. I'm not a fan corn. of kettle corn. I've never really? had one in my life. Oh, I love kettle corn. It's more sweeter. That's why I like somebody it. Somebody we know that won't be mentioned. She likes kettle corn. You know what I'm Oh, about. yes. The, her we shall not speak of. <laughs> Patreon sucker. Yeah, I know. Did you see? Oh, I have to transition to a page. Kat, did yeah. you see on Facebook they're advertising chefs to go do OnlyFans? There's like a chef thing. Like OnlyFans chefs. I'm like, y'all have already made. No, but the thing is that some people did make an OF where they were just doing, like, they were just going to the gym and just posted photos of their gym clothes and they still made a bunch of money from it. It didn't even have to be like corn type material. It just needed to be. It was just an attractive girl who went to the gym and then took a photo of herself in her gym outfit, and she was getting so much money. She got uh, over a hundred grand within a month from just posting photos of her in her workout clothes. Like no, that's no, nuts. No, no NFL teams just practice. That's not like I still believe that's so messed fun up. Of our giants, Wally? That's still so messed up how like our own team's fighting themselves. Okay, but four days ago I heard little Brady had a tantrum and threw his helmet down at practice and, and swore at everybody. Yeah, but that's Brady though. Like you kind of expect that from Brady. <laughs> expect that from Brady. Brady's a little crybaby that if he doesn't get his seventh, he's gonna cry. I think they need to stay in their lane. <laughs> I see the ours all the time too. <laughs> This was not a good cooking live to do. Well, we knew that going into it. We're like, yeah. well, there's going to be a lot of waiting. But it is what it is. We get to hang out with you guys for a while. 
Oh, yeah. It's more of a hangout stream than anything. <laughs> more of like a hangout and we're cooking type thing. And then if people are watching the replay, then they can just like they fast forward, forward all of this. I would show the knowledge choice. You know what? You were right. <laughs> I'm actually preparing my Tom Brady cards to sell them right now. Why not make some loot on them? There you go. True. That's a fact. That's quite, quite true. Rex, if I win a match with LTD, can I get a match with you, says Walter? So we had a super bad unhealthy lunch, and we're gonna wrap it up with a super extra bad dinner. <laughs> yep. Today's our cheat day. <laughs> cheat day. Every day's a cheat. <laughs> That's what people always say. Whenever they're eating bad, they're like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so bad." What? I guess it's just my cheat day. It's like Rebecca, your cheat day was yesterday and the day before. Stop pretending. <laughs> I'm living a cheat life. Living a cheat life, exactly. Like just admit it. Like. <laughs> I think it's so funny though people say that. I'm having a cheat day today. Yeah. She's trying like, to make us feel good. Indulgent. Yeah, indulgent, that's, that's not good. bad. True. Indulgent, yes. You have to win on Saturday, then I whoop. I, I don't know the you last time I, I ate this bad. It's been a long won't. time since I ate this bad. It's you know what? Catherine, seeing YOLO, you know what? You do. You only live once. And you know what? If my life is shortened by eating some yeah, exactly. unhealthy food, that is absolutely amazing. I had a good life, yeah. maybe shorter, but it was a good life. If my life's a little shortened because this fucking awesome food, I'm down. I'm down. It's fine with me. I'll, I'll, I'll rest at peace. <laughs> I'll rest in peace for eternity. Exactly. And then there's some people who ate extremely healthy and may pass younger than you. So you know what? You do what you gonna do. I had one beer. I'm gonna have probably one more. I had a Dr. Pepper. And then I'm gonna have some milk after with dinner. Because whenever I'm eating anything with tomato, I need to have milk. I don't know why. Whenever I have spaghetti, I have to have milk. Spaghetti, I have to have milk. This is arancini, which is gonna have the marinara sauce. I need to have milk. I don't know why. Okay, I got, I got a game plan. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna... Bread, do the second breading on the mozza sticks, get them back in the freaking freezer. Yes. As we're and, cooking their team. And, okay. Smackdown tonight. Oh, yeah, apparently John, is it John Cena supposed to be doing something with it? Ooh. Uh, oh, my God, guys, look. I just was still on me. I was like, oh, hi. Ooh. Frickin' rights. Isn't that good? Arancini sort of firming up, but not. They might blow up in the. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. He's got to be really hopeful on these. Boop. Okay, actually, I'm. Um, I Put those back in the right. freezer while well, you're ready. I guess I could cook. Here, we'll see what happens. Here we go. Two of these bad boys. Two, not overcrowding it. Hopefully they stay together. So let's pray. And these ones are gonna go back in the freezer. Back in the freezer. Reasons. Can you hold this for a second while I go grab my phone charger? Because my phone's almost dead. Hold on for a second. Deep frying. Hopefully they stay together. You can do these after the stream. Don't, yeah. Don't waste them. Okay, so the, the second breading, 
Well, this one's funky. This one's still gonna blow up. It's already like oh, a yeah. big monster. Um, the second breading, you skip the flour, so you just go right into the egg, and then back in the breadcrumbs, and push the hell out of them. You better have to have a lot of breading on it than not enough. Just saying. And make sure you get the freaking ends. And you want it to feel dry. That, that's super dry. That's a nice, big-ass, kick-ass monster stick. Ends. Look at that. Ooh. That's a sign of a good restaurant to me. If, if you're breading your own Lots of sticks. Oh, yeah. Sign me up. Because it's a labor of love, and you know they're going to be done right, and they're going to be freaking awesome. That's beautiful. I'm just going to do a few more for now. For obvious reasons. I think I kept you guys here long enough. <laughs> be so good oh yes this is beautiful I don't like what's going on at the end there. Adjust on the fly. Hopefully. It's probably gonna blow up, but. Those ones. So, risotto balls. I'm gonna give it a flippy flip. Oh, God. Sorry. No, I just put my hand on the freaking thing. I didn't know you were there. On the lid that you're holding. Do a flippy flip. Golden brown. Well, that's happening. Do a few more of these. Molly's gonna have a job to do after. Bread more. Oh yes. And you see how I'm doing it though? Yep. Get in there. Don't be. Don't be shy. The ends, the drier the better. The more panko you get to stick, all this crunchy they're gonna be too, right? True. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's about all. I'm not gonna, you're gonna have to do the rest. Yeah, that's fine. Well, you got half halfway down. Oh yeah, because I saw those. It takes time, but sometimes it's just worth it. There you go, folks. And that is done. That's coming up. Boom. Sweet Jesus. Guys, look at that. Oh, it's so much. It's darker on camera. It's much darker on. I mean, it's darker in real life than on camera. It is, yeah. It's super golden brown to us. Woo. Good God.
So I'm not going to screw them up by grabbing the tongs. The tongs will probably squish them and yeah. Right? Right. I'm going to gently grab them from the bottom. Oh, yes. The not so little oranges. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And now you, now you guys know how, what we're going to keep on doing for that. So, we're going to go in for the mozzarella sticks. Start off with that many. And uh, hopefully they don't, they don't blow up. <laughs> Time will tell. Oh, yes. And these are going to go... I was going to say, do you want to stay here and hold this while I bread those ones? Want to. Well, I can do that right now. Putting y'all down for a second. Oh, I started. We need eggs. And more flour. We might as well just wait. Oh, okay. Oh, so far they're staying together. Yeah, might as well wait. All right. You can tell one's already bread. Yeah. Second time. So. Oh. Oh, the oh yeah, it's falling apart, but I'm, we don't care. I'm cutting into it, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm going in the same anyways. <laughs> Holy Darth, <Darius>, calm down. Ah <laughs> never no. that's cool. Nobody has any idea. Oh, they're not blowing up yet. No, not yet. Yet. Yet is the key word. Oh my god. Oh, it's hot. It'd be hot. It's hot. Mmm. Hold me close to time to dance. Nice ball, says, uh, says Blaze. Thank you. Which ball I try to cut into my balls? <laughs> Speaking of, do we have a chef knife? Over there. Oh my gosh, a tiny thing. Oh, maybe put it on um, in a bowl. Yeah, okay. In a small bowl beside it or something. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's butter in that. She totally set me up. I did. I was like, grab a bowl, and he sticks his finger in the butter yeah, that's awesome. bowl. Well, I totally set up. I did. I totally forgot that was in there. Thank you. You stuck your finger in, and I was like, Thanks oh, right, this is the oh, butter. Oh, yeah, 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 you forgot, yeah. I totally forgot. Uh-huh. We'll go with that. She forgot. Right. I did. You stuck your finger in the butter, and you looked at me like, Maddie, are you serious? I didn't get in there, getting close. Ooh. Ooh. The cheese isn't like 100% fully melted in there, but like, it's good enough. Ooh. Fortunately, I have to use tongs for these, and that's a bad thing. Flippity doo doo. Well, they actually held, guys. Damn. Holy crap! That little bit of leakage is nothing major. That's 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 to be expected for mozzarella sticks. It worked, even a little bit of the time I froze it. Oh yeah. See, it's all in the breading. At least twenty minutes. Now you know, at least twenty minutes before you make the second breading. Right. 
I could have guessed that. Ooh. I'm excited. You can microwave it. Oh, yeah, I don't care. Oh, one did finally burst. A few of them did, but not too, too much. A few? Guys, homemade frickin' matzo sticks. Frickin oh, that rides. one burst. One burst. And that's a uh, that's the life of a uh, of a matzo stick. Ooh, this is like heart attack inducing food. My arteries are clogging just by looking at this, but it's okay. Guys. I'm going to go out happy. Guys. I'm going to picture somehow. You're going to go grab yours. Oh. Ow. I touched the mods stick with my knuckle and I burned myself. Oh, actually, I'm going to leave my flash on. Be on our way. They're hot. Alright, first of all, the arancini. See the cheese in there. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. The cheese oh, on that. Good. Oh my gosh, it's so much cheese. Oh, it's hot. Okay. I got the cheese. I got the bread crumb. And I got that. So that's the arancini, the rice ball. Oh, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's like a heaven. Oh my gosh, it's like, mmm, it's like my favorite food. And now you're deep frying it. I'm putting cheese in it. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's see what this. This one exploded a bit. Oh yeah, it did. Try then try another one. That one exploded a bit. Strike one. All of them like melted a lot on the inside. Oh, they melted. They melted on the inside. Oh yeah. There you go. It's a bit better. A lot of them just melted on the inside. That's okay. It does not matter to me. Oh. My God. Way better th mm -hmm. than a boxed uh, variety, right? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. Mmm. That dip. Oh. Here we go. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. <coughs> Are you cho choking on the matzo uh -huh. cheese there? She's she's only gonna <laughs> she's only choking on the live on the matzo cheese, <laughs> as to be expected. So thank you, everybody. Hello, everyone. Oh my god. Hopefully she lives. Hi. Thanks for stopping by, cat. Oh, crispy and good. Thanks, cat. Bye. Bye.